here's the thing. We think we love God, so now he got to do something for us. Mm. When our love is a response to his love. He's what he already did. What he already did, ladies and gentlemen. We are owed absolutely nothing. But yet we still get it. Hey, bro, it just is what it is. Like, it's tough. I get it. It's hard. It's rough for you. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Now, I know we're not all perfect and no one's ever going to be all perfect. That's not what I'm talking about. And I don't think that's even what anyone's looking for or requesting. I think we need to get back to a point where we are seeking for Christ. It seems like the Christian community is somewhat under attack as far as content creation goes. Uh, I want you guys to hear this clip. We're going to watch it throughout. It's a pretty lengthy one, so sit tight, get comfortable, man. But I really, I'm really, i going to watch this at a blind eye with you guys. Usually I kind of surface the clips a little bit before, but I kind of want to get a raw reaction this time with you guys to really hear what these people are talking about. Open discussion we're getting ready to listen to where they're just talking about the differences of, you know, Christian content creators and whether it's necessary, whether we need any more of them, you know, as there's a huge rise of them. And I mean, there's pretty much so many different platforms you can pick from, uh, which, by the way, I'm glad that you've picked this one and you've stopped by here for this video. So I hope you're blessed with it. But let's get into this clip and we'll talk about it throughout. Here we go. What is like that practical, like what does that practically look like in your environments? Like if we didn't have social media, what does shaping your culture look like? What does that look like in those environments at work, you know, when it's not based around that? Or in your home if you have family members who are unbelievers? Um, yeah, just generally. And then if you're not even called to start a podcast or be a social media influencer, because we're not all supposed to be that. Thank you. You know, so like, what, is, what does that look like in my, day, in my daily life? Like how do I take that, how do I take up my cross in that way and actually be obedient to that? Amen. And before we get into the answer, great question. As you see in the rise in today, a lot of Christian content creators, social media has been a big thing in today's time. And with people seeking followers, numbers, likes, subscriptions, what have you, that's been a big focus, big emphasis. Um, people are looking to be celebrities. Everyone's looking to be the main character in their own life. And with seeing that and seeing so many people flock to those individuals as a Christian who may not be someone who's on the forefront of every video, forefront of every um, uh, pulpit or whatever the case may be, the forefront of every conference, you may feel inadequate. You may feel like, am I not doing enough as a Christian? And before we hear these answers, I want to make sure you hear my response to this before we start getting into theirs and how they take it. I don't let you know that, no, you're not inadequate. The thing about it is we are a part of the body of Christ. And when you think about a body in and of itself, my right arm does what my right arm does, and it doesn't complain that it can't be a left arm, nor does my right arm feel inadequate because it is not a left arm. That should feel the same way, and it should apply the same in our lives, ladies and gentlemen, where... Just because someone else may be doing something, it's great work for the kingdom. That's awesome. But just because you're not doing that particular thing, it does not mean you are inadequate or you are a lesser Christian and or believer, if you will. But let's get into their responses and let's hear how they take it. Here we go. Um, I did this ministry for a couple of years. That's where my, I met my wife. And um, it's in Isla Vista. It's in Santa Barbara. It's next to UCSB. And it's a ministry called Jesus Burgers. And uh, they hand out hamburgers to all the drunk college kids. And um, that's pretty much it. They stand out there on the front. That's pretty much it. And, um, and that's it. All right, thank you. Mic drop. Yeah, I'm painting that story in the sense of that ministry was called Jesus Burgers. It wasn't named Jesus Burgers. It was called Jesus Burgers by the, by the kids of the city. When you cultivate love on the inside, it will overflow. And you don't have to worry about what you do, you just do. And I think that ministry taught me a lot of, because not everybody is called to be a social, I mean, I, 
I hate it. But I'm like, I trust me. I'm signed with the I'm signed with the music label, and I was like, yo, I'm in. They're like, you need to blow up on TikTok. I was like, I thought that's what you guys supposed to help me with. And there's just these hurdles, you know. And I think that's part of just uh, the calling, you know. The thing where if you feel called, you know, then you're gonna have to do some things that are hard. But cultivating love with yourself, understanding how much God really loves you. And then, uh, and then loving that, and I, and you know, I kept thinking about this today. Loving yourself—it's such a like a love yourself, you know, theology. And but you really do. You have to love yeah. the way that God made you. Yeah. You have to love the character that you have. And there's some refining. But if you don't fall in love with that relationship, what He says about you is like, dang, I made you to sing, bro. So sing, sing high, okay? <laughs> you know, and that's you know, and there's just. And you got to fall in love with it, you know? And True. And uh, let me add this. You know, for each of us, we have different things about us, different gifts or whatever the case may be. And we can't look over to the next person. That's that spirit of envy. And it can creep in. And you're kind of looking over and thinking, man, they have that or they do that or they do it this way or whatever. And you're trying to do that or you want to mock that or you're feeling that if you can't be that way, then you're never going to measure up. And it's just uh, negative thoughts, negative ploys of the enemy. Let me be the first to tell you, but... I agree with what he's saying in that part of you have to love who God has created you to be. It's the only way that you're going to stay in your own lane. But I will also say is that when it comes to the social media thing, I wouldn't say that, you know, you know, social media is like a whole Christian thing. Now, there are Christian content creators that you, you know, can access on any social media platform there is out today. But it is not a Christian thing. So if someone is a social media influencer or if they have millions of followers, millions of subscribers, whatever the case may be, and you're looking at that and you're feeling like because they have that and because they have an audience or whatever the case may be, and you don't, that you're a lesser than, it's a completely terrible, terrible, terrible way to look at the situation. Social media, however, if someone has social media and they're an influencer, it's solely really because it's something they wanted to do. They stuck with it, and after time, they built something. That's it, you know. For some people, those Christian kind of creators, yes, they did fast along the way, pray along the way. They depended on God. They relied on God. Absolutely. Hey, guys, real quick. If you click the link in the description, it'll take you to Amazon where you can get your own copy of my book, Matters of Life, True Stories of Pain, Forgiveness, and Resilience. This book is filled with true stories from real people's lives, giving you the opportunity to connect, relate, learn and overcome whatever you may be dealing with in life so click the link and let me know what you think but social media influencing even though it seems like that's the biggest thing and the biggest desire for people in today's time something that everyone wants it's not necessarily something that god has mandated and said that if you do this then you're going to be a better christian and i'm going to like you because you're a christian who has a million god is no respecter of persons he doesn't love anyone else more than me and vice versa doesn't love me more than anyone else you know he's just no respecter of persons and you have to know that that's that end of your relationship with god you have to know that that god made you he loves you he knows you and it's really about the character thing what can i do as a christian if i'm not a social media influencer i'm not doing this i'm not over here i'm not hosting bible studies i don't have cell groups i'm not doing live streams and all this you can demonstrate the fruits of the spirit in your life become that person your character and shed that love onto other people that that's really all it is that's one of the best ways to share the good news is to literally be like christ and demonstrate that character those behaviors whatever it is the fruits of the spirit demonstrate all of those fruits towards other people so that way they can see the light of jesus christ through your behavior, through your character, through your words, through your actions. And it doesn't have to be on the front stage. It doesn't have to be on a platform with millions of people watching. Sometimes all it takes is just one. But let's keep this going. Um, I think from that place, it'll overflow in your life. And you yeah. don't even have to think about it. People will start calling the things you do Jesus Burger. Yeah. 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 start calling it whatever it is. Um, I think, ugh, I could just say a lot, but I won't. Um, I think one of the questions I always ask um, is, 
what does it, this is what I ask God, God, what does it look like to do life with you? Because that is his intention. Like whether you're a social media influencer, I wish they throw that away. Okay. Um, or a podcaster, or you're just existing. On my job, I work in corporate America. God, what does it look like to do life with you in this space? Because Matthew tells us, go into the world and make disciples. Yeah. It's not gonna be wearing faith-based clothing and yeah. telling people to read their Bible on the internet. It might just be that when the office reacts away, you reflect what Jesus is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, it's, yeah. I think we can make it so deep, and it's not. It's my relation, just like um, Ryan's saying. It's like I experience just character, God. Yeah. And my relationship with him is so like intact and authentic that it overflows into everything I do. So my decisions reflect the God I love, yeah. the God that I've experienced. So when I'm dating and I really want to, you know, do this with the dude, I'm like, but I love God more. Yeah. And I want to be with homeboy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I gotta be like, hey, sir. <laughs> I don't think homeboy they gave that initial response there as they're panning the camera over to him and let you see it again. I don't think he really enjoyed her response because her response was really coming from that place where I was saying, y'all, like, I get it. These people have these deep answers, like, blah, 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 but sometimes really it's as simple as it's character. We can't forget to get down to the basics and know that we're just supposed to be Christ-like out here. Being Christ-like, really embodying the character, the mannerisms, the fruits of the spirit that Christ has. And putting that into our lives and showing that with to other people and they get to experience that. That's how people because people are going to ask, bro, you're in a world of craziness. You're in a world where being rude is the normal. You're in a world where pushing people off and cutting people off, cut off culture, cancel culture. We're in a world right now where these things are normalized. So for you to come on the scene and do the complete opposite out here demonstrating the characteristics of Christ towards all people people are definitely going to start asking why i noticed you do this why do you do it that way i noticed that this is the way that you why i noticed this about you i noticed that because it's different and they're going to ask questions as the bible says where there is no difference he wants us to make it so there will be a difference there it's going to cause people to ask and that's when you can draw them to christ hey this is nothing but god this is how god wants me to be in return i do this and other people are blessed by it and then you become blessed by it. God's way is a cycle of goodness. I'm not saying tests and trials aren't going to come up. That's the little sneak peeks and ploys of the enemy trying to get in there. But overall, the journey, the journey in general, God's way is full of goodness. Let's hear what else had to happen. But like I said, this gentleman here, I don't think he enjoyed because <laughs> everyone else is really enjoying it. She's spitting some fire, I would say. But that gentleman there, as the camera pans back over, you'll notice that I don't think that he was okay with it because he is a social media influencer. And like I said, it's okay to be that, y'all. It's all right. But it doesn't make you higher than any other Christian because at the end of the day, you can have the millions of subscribers and you can have a bunch of people following you. But if you individually, my friend, no matter what you're telling those people, no matter how much you're helping them with your words and influence, if you as an individual, one person, aren't following Christ the right way, means nothing. Let's get back into this. It's like I experienced the love of God and my relationship with him is so like intact and authentic that it overflows into everything I do. So my decisions reflect the God I love, yeah. the God that I've experienced. So when I'm dating and I really want to, you know, do this with the dude, I'm like, but I love God <laughs> My man's more. giving no yeah. sign of and agreement. I'm with homeboy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I gotta be like, Not hey, even laughing. <laughs> I really love God right now, all right? Or, you know, if you live in LA, people cannot drive there. You want to roll your window down and be like, hey, I know you saw me. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the, my experience with God's love overflows in my everyday life. And I recognize, here's the thing. We think we love God, so now he got to do something for us. When our love is a response to his love. He's what he already did. What he already did, ladies and gentlemen. We are owed absolutely nothing. But yet we still get it. Bro, she's dropping the dimes. And I think she's dropping it completely different than how the gentleman opened up there. 
uh, so the social media influence. Like she said, you're not going to win it over with big oversized sweaters that say faith that you sell for 80 bucks a pop. You know, that's not how you win it over. Not saying it's a bad thing. It's cool to have it. But that's not how you win it over. What she's saying right here, y'all, this is the recipe. This is the recipe. He loved me first. He first loved me. So how I live my life, no matter where I am or what I'm called to do, is a response to his love for me. So then it's like, dang, when I really want to do something else, I'm going to do the thing that I'm supposed to do. Because, dang, God loved me that much. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I think, like, I know we've made social media like the end all be all, but really, like, your cousin getting saved, just because you different than the rest of your cousins, that's, heaven stops yeah. when somebody says yes yeah. to Jesus. Yeah. So whatever you do, that, you know what I'm saying, I want to be a part of that. Because I don't want to get to heaven and Jesus be like, oh, that was cool, you was viral, but shorty, I don't know you. <laughs> what did I just say, man? I was cool, like a lot of people knew you and you was spitting some good stuff out there. But I didn't know you, bro. I didn't know you. And that could be the difference where sometimes people they're seeing in the new day and age social media influence world where there is a lot of self-seeking in that and it's a lot of celebrity type, you know, the brand, everything is a brand deal and all of that. And I can get that where it's like we might be losing sight of really what the point is out here, which is why you can run into in real time Christians who are just mean. And it's like, do you not know any of the spirit, you know, the fruits of the spirit? Like this bitterness and rudeness and and being short and that's not right having odds with people and just being okay with being at odd with a brother and sister in christ do we not know our word bible tells us if you have an odd with your brother to go be reconciled there's steps to it if they don't want to listen to you take someone else to go and talk with you if they don't want to listen at that point you can go off and pray you've done it bring the masses get everyone you can bring the whole town over anything possible but we cannot have discord or disconnect and the reason that we can see that is because i feel that we've went too far off over the time over the decades over the years we've went too far away from just the basics of who is christ who is he to us? What did he give us? Therefore, in return, what do we owe him? That's our life, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not just our life alone, but it is our life given to him. Fully sacrificed and submitted, willing to walk the path that he wants you to walk, no matter how challenging it may be. That's all I got for you guys on this one, man. This is this th this was good stuff, man. Th this was good stuff. Shout out to these people. Like I said, I wanted a blind reaction. I mean, the video is a lot longer than that, but I blind reaction, man. It, I like what that woman was saying, man. But that's all I got for you guys on this one. I'm gonna leave it there. At the end of the day, please make sure you have an individual relationship with Christ. What does that mean, Rob? That means that do you know God yourself, and do you talk to Him? I don't know what you mean. What do you mean do I talk to him? Well, now you're starting to ask a lot of questions. Drop them down in the comment section and I'd be happy to really go in lengthy detail whatever questions you might have. But one thing's for certain. If you don't know him, make sure you know him because he knows you. That's all I got, guys. To the next one. I'm out.